Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about JJ Abrams style lens flares and how to do them with your crappy C-mount lenses. The C-mount lens we're going to use is going to be um, an f-stop of 1.4 and um, I, it's going to be a 25mm TV lens uh, which you can find on eBay or Amazon so C-mount 25mm f-stop 1.4 TV lens just type that into eBay or Amazon and you will get this lens. But you can do this with most C-mount lenses and I'd recommend doing that with uh, very cheap lenses because it doesn't matter if you break them. Okay, so let's begin. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do is take about two centimeters off of this fishing line. So I'm um, just going to cut it here. There we go. Sorry, I went out of shot for a second. Problem with using macro lenses. But we have um, the fishing line part which is going to make our little lens streak. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the lens apart now. Instead of screwing off the front like a couple of people uh, might do, we're actually going to take the back of the lens off and we're going to remove it like so. Right, there we go. It's coming off. You can do this just by putting your fingers against it and pushing in. Right, now, there's a little piece here. Hang on. Sorry, get them into view. There's a little piece here which comes out and this piece I recommend stays out of the lens so we're going to put that to one side. The other pieces that should come out are a little bit here which goes one side of our magnification piece which should go back in and uh, this bit which also goes in before that. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to um, put the lens back into place. So I'll get that back there in front of the camera and I'll slide that one in like so. This one keeps our two lens part, part compartments apart. I'll put this one back in now making sure that the bulbous end is uh, going inwards so the concave, well the more concave end uh, stays pointing upwards at this point. So it's packed in like so. And what we're going to be doing is getting our um, two centimeters uh, lens lens flare streak and placing it on the uh, lens like so. Um, there we go. So we've got it placed over the lens. It's not too hard, right? Now, next thing um, that happens is uh, this little bit goes on. And that will just keep it in place and we will screw the main end back onto the lens which should pack everything into place. I know that this seems like quite a, an annoying procedure and trust me it is a bit fiddly but um, at the end of it you should have um, one little streak that goes across and not too twisted so that the streak is kind of open. Now the reason we took this little compartment out is this is a preventative from the middle part of the chamber from swinging round too much and uh, that will come into play uh, later. So um, as it stands the uh, middle part of the chamber will swing round so that's all good. Now we'll find out how this uh, thing acts in practice. Hi guys, sorry it's a little bit sketchy at the moment, uh, it's mainly because it's a manual focus lens and uh, it's a little bit out of reach for my blur, but here's an example of a, what the lens flare does. So uh, as you can see, it's creating a lens flare that's going upwards with the red light, like so, which is kind of cool. And this can be sort of changed by moving the lens around, so we've got our JJ Abrams horizontal lens flares going across the screen like so, which is kind of cool. Um, we can also have a much brighter lens flare. I'll just darken it down a little bit so um, you can see the lens flare for yourself as uh, depicted here by the torch. That was removing some neutral density filters. But um, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So uh, yeah, I hope this has been helpful to you and uh, have fun playing with lens flares. You can do this with a lot of different lenses. I'd suggest experimenting on a cheap lens like uh, the one I used first of all. And um, hopefully you'll have a lot of fun with that.